What's going on guys, John Elder here from Codemy.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a scroll bar to your tree view with Kinter and Python. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at adding a scroll bar to our tree view. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out Codemy.com where I have dozens of courses with hundreds of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership that's all my courses, videos, and books for one time fee at just $49, which is insanely cheap. Okay, so we've been looking at this tree view for the last few videos. If you haven't seen those, check the link in the comment section below. In this video, we're going to add a simple scroll bar to our tree view. And this is pretty simple to do, but a lot of people have been asking me about this. So I figured we'd knock this out in a video. It's Friday morning here in Vegas. We don't want to do anything all that complicated. And this is definitely not that complicated. So what are you guys up to this weekend? I think I'm going to hit the mountains, maybe do a little hiking. It's been a couple of weekends since I've been up there. So I definitely need to do some hiking. So, all right, let's take a look at our code. I'm in tree.py. Like I said, if you haven't seen the last few videos, check the link in the comment section below. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. So all right, we come down here and there's a way to natively add a scroll bar to your tree view, but I find that it doesn't really work that well. And for me, I just like using the method we've used all the time in the past, just to add all the things to a frame and then just add the scroll bar to the frame. So that's what we're going to do in this video. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy all of our stuff here and just paste in a couple more instances of it all just so that there's more stuff so that there's stuff to actually scroll, right? Uh, we don't really care what the data is, so I'll just copy and paste that. So now we need to add some frames. So I'm going to come up to the top of my code and I don't know, probably right under where we did all our tree view stuff. I'm going to add a frame and let's just call this, uh, what do we want to call it? Tree frame. And this is a frame and we want to put it in root. So then we need to tree underscore frame dot pack this guy, get it up on the screen. And let's give this a pad Y of 20 just to push it down a little bit. Now our tree view itself, see wherever we did that, we down here, I guess. Yeah, right here, we gave it a pad Y of 20. So we want to take this off and I'm just going to grab all of this and move it up here so that I don't have to keep uh, scrolling back and forth. So like right here where we actually created our tree, say create tree view. Here, let's go uh, create tree view frame. Okay, so now we need to create tree view scroll bar. And I'm just going to call this tree underscore scroll. And this is a scroll bar. And where do we want to put that? We want to put it in this newly created frame that we just created. And also our tree view itself, it's in root, we need to put it in the tree frame as well. So add that there. So now we need to pack our tree scroll. So let's go tree underscore scroll dot pack. And let's give this a side equals right because we want it on the right side of our of our tree view, right of our frame. And let's give this a fill equals Y, that's a capital Y. So it goes up and down all the way up and down to the entire frame. So now we just need to come down to our tree view and add this scroll bar as a Y command. So let's go Y scroll command equals, and we want to go tree underscore scroll dot set. So we're setting the tree scroll as the Y scroll command on our tree view. And this is just basic scroll bar stuff. I've got several videos on scroll bars back in the playlist, so you can check the link in the comment section if you want to sort of learn more about scroll bars. But if you've been following along, you've already seen me talk about these many times. And so that's sort of just basic. Okay, so now finally, we need to come down here and let's configure the scroll bar. So we can go tree underscore scroll dot config, and we want to set the command of it to my underscore tree dot y view, which is my underscore tree. And then this y scroll command is our y view, basically, right? Here, we're filling y, you know, the same theme throughout here, y, y, y. So if you wanted the scroll bar to go horizontal, you would change all these things to x. So uh, I have a video on creating horizontal scroll bars in the playlist, you can check that if you want. Uh, there's a slight tweak you also have to do besides changing all these y's to x's, but it's basically that's what you have to do. So 
Okay, let's go ahead and save this and head over to our terminal and let's run python tree.py. And when we do, we see we've got this nice scroll bar and it scrolls perfectly. And that's all there is to it. So, wow, this is a very short video today, but it's Friday, right? So, like I said, there are ways that you can sort of add this inside of here. But like I said, you know, it's kind of clunky and I just find that it doesn't work all that well. If you, it's easy to mess it up. And when you do, you know, this scroll bar can end up anywhere in your app. And I just find it easier to add these things to a frame and just do it this way. It's cleaner in my mind and a lot easier as we just saw. It took us three minutes or whatever to do that. And uh, pretty cool. So I think that's maybe it for the tree view, unless there's something else you guys want to learn about this thing. We've learned how to change the colors, how to make these rows striped, how to add records, remove records, how to remove many records. Right? Here's one interesting thing. Since this is sort of a, a really short video, if we head back over to our code and we look at our tree view, we can actually mess around with this with the select mode. And there are basically three select modes, and this deals with how things are selected in our tree view. So the default is extended, which you can select multiple items as we've seen in the past. You could also do none if you'd want none selected. So if we, if we click none on here and save this and come back here and run this again. Now, when I click on here, I'm clicking right now, you can't tell, but I am clicking and nothing is being selected. So we aren't able to select anything here. You can also, the other one, so extended is the default. None is that one. We can also do browse. Oops, browse. And browse only allows you to select one item at a time. So if we come back here and run this again, we can click one item. If I hit the control button and click someone else, normally that would select multiple items. If I hold down the shift and the control button, again, nothing else is selected. So for browse, that only means one item. If we, like I said, put it back to extended, extended is the default, you don't have to do extended, but if we did, or we could just take out, off the select mode completely. Now, if I hold down the control button, you can see I, I could select several things, and that's cool. So just a little bit of trivia in there. I guess it's kind of interesting to learn, but uh, I guess I'll leave that on there in case you guys want to see the source code for this thing, but very cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube1 to get $30 off membership, so you pay just $49 to access all my courses, over 45 courses, hundreds of videos, and the PDFs of all my best-selling coding books. Join over 100,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.